Welcome everyone, this is Will KMAC Vintage. How are you today? Um, this is gonna be my, I think my final um, video on this 2VX. Um, yes, I need to still retro the case and clean the case and do some of that other stuff. And actually ultrasonic clean the board. Uh, but with so much other boards i have on the plate for other people that i need to fix and i want to get those fixed for me to take them up to florida on the 19th of december for me to for me to actually send them back my stuff is going to be sitting on the side burner on the side on the actually back burner for now until i can get, get some time to work on actually my own machines um so what i did to actually recap what i did on this i did recap the board um, i did clean it off it did work beforehand, so there was no real problem with it. Um, so it's just a matter of recapping it, what needed to get recapped. Um, yeah, actually, hard drive is good. Uh, let me let me go to let me let me go to top view. Okay, and let's bring me back. Okay, so we have. We have the machine here. Um, it was very dirty. I did. Um, it needed a lot of cleaning. Okay. Um, so, like what I said, I did recap it and cleaned it and everything. The power supply was very dirty this morning. I just had this out and I cleaned it. And guess what? I forgot to put this clip back in, so I gotta pop it back out. Um, besides that, the, let me make sure that my audio is working. Yes, I've had too many bad audio experiences, videos that I don't want to have anymore. Um, hard drive is good. It was running version 7.5. I did upgrade it to 7.55. So that's a stable enough. Floppy drive was completely taken out. Service clean. Um, part two, there's, there is part two video of that and the one device that kicked my ass the hardest was the cd-rom drive okay um this is a caddy load one and it does have problems with the caps so i did go and um, recap the board but these boards are cheap they are a piece of crap boards but anyway i recapped the board the board was not the problem that not where i got kicked um what happened was that i don't know if it's because of me or testing or so forth but one of the flex cables that are in there that connects to the board that goes to the actually read it to the actually read and write head um two two of the traces broke so i was like oh crap um this is not something easy to replace in that so i remember watching a video from paul at um, lewis rodman's store where he fixed a flex cable so i was like you know what let me what's the worst that can happen right i mean <laughs> it's already broken and and the worst that can happen is that it actually it it will actually stay it will actually stay actually broken so i was like well let me try to fix this so now i couldn't get the cable out and this and that so on my wooden desk table here i managed to tape it down good get some under support um i didn't do a video on it because it was my first time doing it and i didn't want to do a bad thing and i didn't know how long it was going to take me it was going to be boring so anyway now, now i know what to do and how to do it. so next time i do one i will do a video um but i managed to get the actual flex cable fixed i put in two pieces of wire um, repaired the trace yes it's a pain because you got to be very careful for the melting um and it's not so easy to actually solder but i did do it um after after soldered i i put some solder mask on it i bombed the hell out of it with the actually with the actually light a uv light and i know to be very careful with that because once it's in it's not gonna move so it's not the cable that's gonna get a lot of movement um, up and down and so forth okay so um i got that fixed I put it in. CD-ROM drive still would not work. It would not read the disc. And I'm, I'm like, oh, 
down what else now so I called it a night I went I went to lay down and with my tablet of course uh, researching reading I come to find out that these caddy load CD-ROM drives um, let me see here you got the bottom piece this is the bottom piece and then you got the other one when the disc goes in it drops down the whole the whole set the whole top tray will will drop down so that the read head can make count can is closer and the drive can spin good in that so i was like okay so this morning i come and i checked that and for sure mine was not dropping and i looked i looked i looked i took off the motor i took off the actually gear motor that that does the dropping i saw that it was very stiff not, um, one the motor was a bit stiff with the gears and two, the actually tray itself sliding the the entire sliding mechanism, because that is again like like a floppy drive, metal on metal. Um, it slides and then um, it's got little little posts that raise and lower it. There they are they are a triangled, so it'll slide and then drop down and so forth. So that was very sticky and dirty. So I cleaned it the best I could without taking it all apart because you can't really take all that apart. Um, it's got springs and all that in there that are a pain. So I managed to get it cleaned good with some IPA alcohol. And then I managed to also lube it a bit. Get it moving, get it get it fluctuating a bit better. So um, did that. I put it all back together. Put it in there, tested it. And Viola, it works. So the train was dropping. The actually, the and it was reading the disc so i was happy with that i tried some more um it still doesn't seem to be 100 percent but um at least it's working so let's go take a look let's let me power on this machine there's the chime Ooh, that lights I, I do have my handy hand cam so i'm going to show the screen let me bring that out Okay, we are booting up my hand cam. Uh, ready, re ready to show you all, or my finger cam, whatever way you want to do it. Uh, shooting the bird. You have an idea what I mean by the hand cam? There it is. Oh, oh and of course I don't want to fire up. Is this camera not working? I think that's for you. Yeah, we just detected it. Now, now, now my hand cam don't want to work. Let me delete it and add it back. Uh -huh, there we go. So we can see we are in. OS. Okay, so. Let me take a CD. I'm gonna throw this in there. It drops, the door moves, it does everything that it should. And let's see if it detects it. Yep, there it goes. It popped up. Bring us back.
So not only was my flex cable repair successful, but so was the repair of the slider. Now I lost my face view here. Oh my god, what is up with the cameras today? Anyway, so we're just gonna end, we're just gonna focus on this. So if I come now and I eject this disc. I think I know why I lost my front. Yeah, there we go. I got it back. Okay, so the disc actually ejected fine without any problem, and we were able to read with it. So, um, so basically, I'm going to be wrapping up this series of videos on this 2BX. I'm going to close up the case and put it away for now, and I'll get back to the um, retro brighting and the other stuff at a later date. So, I just wanted to um, make a short video closing up this session. Um, of this machine and um, move on to my next thing I'm hoping to get my package today um, but I got some time now so I do have a LC I do have a LC3 that I need to recap um, I don't have I don't have a kit for the power supply I think I need to check uh, but I don't think I do um, but I can do the logic board um, that's an easy one to do so anyway Folks, I'm going to call it a quits on this video, and um, thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate it, and that um, the um, closure or the completion of this series for this machine is now concluded, and this will be part three. I hope you look forward to the next videos. I hope to get my package today. That way I can give you the surprise, the super secretive surprise that's in there that I'm going to be working on. So. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.